Hey there, event marketers, Joe English here, and welcome to this episode of EM All Access. We've created this show to take you behind the scenes of some of the most innovative events in the world and inside the minds of the event marketers that created them. We're going to start our series with a tour of the Intel Extreme Masters program. Like most technology brands, Intel wants to reach new, younger audiences. So in 2006, they created a program that combines their target audience's enthusiasm for video gaming with the excitement of professional video game tournaments. Nearly a decade later, it's become one of the biggest gaming event series in the world. I sat down with George Wu, the program manager for Intel Extreme Masters, and we talked about the evolution of the event, what Poland is like in the winter, and how Intel has created a whole new genre of live sporting event. Let's listen in. Intel Extreme Masters, definitely one of the coolest things out there, I would say. What was that like in terms of the number of people? Uh, I mean, as a market here, I mean, it gave me goosebumps. I mean, this is what we all try, uh, strive for. And uh, seeing the lines of people, just waves of people waiting in line. Mm -hmm. And the first year, it was like, uh, it was below zero. It yeah. was snowing. They had actually w barrels with firewood burning for the office, just to keep people warm. And there was a big screen outside the stadium and people actually who couldn't get in were watching the competition on the screen when it's snowing out. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. And this audience, uh, as the, the enthusiasts are, they're hard to reach. Right. Uh, they're very smart, they're on the, they're on the internet. Um, and a lot of big companies are starting to see that. Yeah. Um, and the way we're getting our band across is very authentic. We're not forcing our logo and saying, buy, buy, buy Intel. Yeah. I mean, we are providing a platform for these people to enjoy. Yeah. But in terms of the booth itself, there's video game playing going on, yep. right? You, you have lots of places where people can play. Yep. Um, how much selling are you doing? How many sales reps so do you have passing out stuff and handing people So things? we try to, we, you know, after so many years and being involved, we try the old traditional trade show route mm -hmm. where we had a booth staff and, you know, telling the Intel message, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And we know that it didn't really work just based on our survey results and just being on site and seeing how people reacted to that. Mm -hmm. So what we really, our strategy is to allow people just to play and have it a great experience and not have our staffers you know always pressing them about hey can we help you and you know this is about intel and intel mm -hmm. it's not about that we allow them to come to us it's a very proactive approach it's a really soft sell yeah a soft sell yeah. exactly mm -hmm. and people have a great time like i said they are spending three hours at a time i mean they're not just sitting on one computer we have our staff asking people to you know move on let other people play after you know 15 20 minutes um but yeah they, they what we have the results that i've seen is that they they there's multiple touch points within our showcase right mm -hmm. i mean they're actually what playing games they're actually when they're waiting for games they're talking to other people they are actually participating in our promotions where we have run contests um, to allow people to have you know cool trinkets actually win great pro uh, great prizes like a processor cry some uh, extreme edition processor and even sometimes we have even tablets that we give away you have amazing results you go into these markets a place like well, Poland, we've been talking <laughs> yeah. about, but other places, China, Taipei, the US, I mean, Taipei. It's all over the world. Yeah. yeah, and what happens? What do you see in terms of the the preference for the brand, especially among young people? Oh, it, it definitely goes up. Um, you know, from awareness to preference, and even this year, we really are focusing on sales and using this vehicle as a tool to, to incentivize these people to actually buy and purchase mm -hmm. a, a Intel architecture you know, device or system. And the results I've seen, and this is just one example, like in Poland, going back to it, um, is uh, they saw 40% uh, percent growth year on year. Um, and this is seven different resellers, and we're talking millions of dollars just from having our brand and being in that marketplace. Um, it just really uh, spurs excitement and uh, great sales. It's unheard of that Intel has that program this long, and I don't see the end of it for a while. So, that's cool. Yep. Good job. Thank you, Joe. Thanks. Take care. The success story for Intel has been about greatly expanding their brand audience with young consumers through the Intel Extreme Masters program. They've put together live video game tournaments that have young people literally staying for hours to watch. Then they've added to that a low pressure, high experience environment where consumers can play games and try out the latest computers. What they've seen is a higher awareness and a more positive enthusiasm for their brand in the markets where they've staged these events. 
Connecting with a new audience can be tough, but here Intel has done it right. They asked what would really excite young consumers, and video gaming was the key. I'd like to thank George for joining me, and to you, thanks for watching. Check back again soon for another behind the scenes look at the world of event marketing here on EM All Access.